Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be back. Thank you guys for tuning in. It is greatly appreciated as always. As you can see by the title, we're back with another episode of Barbie Gen 3. And I'm super duper excited to be back. So today guys, we're ready to open the shop up for business. We're ready to meet some beautiful fur babies. And we're excited to get into it. So right now we're just waiting. Um, really honestly, just wait for our first client to come. So I'm going actually go ahead and sit here. Uh, we made sure Pierre and Whiskers were taken care of before we left. And, you know, we're feeling good. And um, we're feeling super happy today. Really enthusiastic, enthusiastic about today and what today will bring. Um, she's going to go wash her hands. Um, right now we are currently open for business. So we also, guys, I looked at our um, little tab here once I reloaded my game. And we did gain a little star and a half. Um, we also gained a thousand perk points so we're gonna go ahead and look at that really right now to see um what we should spend our perk points on we can get an additional vet we can also unlock vet supply quality we can have a vet rush temporarily increase the number of patients who come to your clinic patient i want to definitely do patient um patients and i'm going to go ahead and do let's see um should we get an additional vet hmm Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get additional vet, and we're gonna see how that goes. But right now, we're gonna go ahead and um, wait for our client to come. We're feeling super excited. We decided to clean up a little bit because we're ready for today. Um, we have a little doggy and cat right here. Oh, this is patience. Let's give him a friendly in oh pocket. Let's give him a friendly introduction. Um, his owner is right here. I'm waiting for him to actually. You know, say hi. Say, what's the matter, little guy? Oh, no, he is sick. So, we're going to go ahead and see what's wrong. Let's also give a, a friendly introduction to this dog as well. Their own... Oh, wait. Oh, can we not... Okay. We're not coming in so we can actually greet them. So, we get to know them and stuff like that. Um, We're going to go ahead and say hello to these fur babies. Um, Right now, they're feeling very sick. So we gotta just be friends with one more cat. We need to just successfully train um, cats or dogs to do when they do naughty things, school election. So that'd be for our own dog. We're gonna go ahead and greet this patient, um, chat with Christian, and give her a friendly introduction and let her know that you know we're here to take care of her pet. Let's go ahead and greet our patient. Let her know that so hi ma'am. Uh, I'm here to let you know if you have any questions or concern. How may I assist you today? She said, well, my dog is feeling very, my cat, which one is yours, the dog or the cat? We're going to see. Y'all, winter is almost oh, over. Okay. Pockets have just haven't been acting like herself. I think something might be wrong. Can you please take a look? She said, yes, just follow me this way. And I'll take a look at Pockets. We'll look at Pockets on top of the desk. Pockets, come on, Pockets. Come on so I can take a look at you and see what's wrong and make you feel a little better. Y'all, I haven't been enjoying this vet career. I never thought I would enjoy it this much, but I am really am enjoying it. But we're gonna go ahead and check on Pockets. Before we get into it, we wanna check on Pockets' temperament. Right now, Pockets is feeling... I wanna know how to examine his mouth really quickly and go from there. Just we're gonna make sure his temperament is okay. Make sure that he's feeling pretty good. Make sure everything is looking nice and clean in there. Um, let's go ahead and um, test his ears. So he has barf and he has a high temperature and the next thing is unknown. He seems like he hears pretty well. So he has the swamp mouth. So we're going to go ahead and give him this treat. Hopefully this will make him feel better. This should make him feel so much better. It's like thank you so much. It said pockets is feeling so much better. Now, so we're gonna go come over here and we're gonna go ahead and okay. Once she gets out there, we'll be able to greet this patient. He looks very sad that his cat isn't feeling his dog isn't feeling well. So we're gonna go ahead and greet this next patient and see what's going on with this patient um today. He's like, Hi sir, my name is London. I'll be your vet for today. Can you tell me what's wrong? What you've been noticing about um your dog? 
He said yes. Um, he hasn't been feeling very well, so we're gonna go ahead. I've never seen Lexi acting like this before. I hope it will go away, but it only gotten worse. Please see what you can do. She said yes. Follow me this way, and I'll have I'll be able to take a look and see what's going on. And so we're gonna do that. So I think the next time we come in and work a shift, we'll be able to hire a new vet which i'm super excited about because the we will i guess we want to run a five-star business the more people we have you know working the business the better but where is he here he comes sir you can come in through the window you don't have to stand right there okay so let's see what we got here uh, let's see all righty so this is lexi right oh my god lexi is throwing up and all the eva let's go ahead and take her temperature really quickly and see what's going on there but right now we're feeling very confident we believe in ourselves um with yeah. doggy all for meeting a new doggy friend kitty yeah, so oh that is too cute so we're gonna go ahead and um do a skin if and a coat test mm just to see what's going on to see if we can get in there and then next we're going to go ahead and it says he has um swamp mouths so we're going to go ahead and give him a treat and that should make him feel her feel so much better yay you're cured she said see that wasn't so bad Lexi, she should be feeling much better now so let's see, do we have anybody else? We do have a patient here. Oh, this is our dad. Let's come over here and give him a hug. She said, hi, dad, it's so good to see you. He said, how's Chloe? He said, babe, she hasn't been like herself. He said, well, dad, I can take a look at her. Just a standard checkup for Chloe today. Yes, of course, where is Clo Clo? Y'all look at Chloe. He like he also asked like, babe, will you be at um Christmas dinner tomorrow, guys? Tomorrow is Christmas in game, so we won't be working as a vet tomorrow. So we're gonna actually go over to our family house for Christmas dinner, and I'm super excited about it. But yeah, we just our dad just checking in to make sure that we're gonna make it to dinner tomorrow. And she's like, yes, dad, I already closed the vet for tomorrow, so I will be there. Look at Chloe, y'all. Do y'all understand how Chloe is? Like Chloe is our childhood pet like that is so cute so hi clo clo so we're gonna go ahead and uh let's go ahead and test her ears you know she's getting a normal checkup so it's not like nothing is really wrong with her so we're gonna go ahead and test her ears and then let's go ahead also okay she has a normal temperature healthy cuteness levels and responsive ears let's listen to her breathing so I, she said hi clo okay do we see anything okay normal temperature responsive ears healthy cuteness levels responsive ears clean nose and standard smiley teeth let's just go ahead and give her a preventive shot and she is all good to go Oh, she's like, you're all good to clo, clo, clo. So we got this picture. She said, well, Dad, um, I'll text you about the time I'll be over. Just let me know what you guys want me, you know, to make for dinner and stuff like that. He said, she said, I'll bring over something sweet. So next we're going to go ahead and greet our next patient because, you know, today is a busy day. It's already 4 p.m. We did start a little before 11, so I'm not stressing to be done too quickly. But she's like, hello, how may I help oh, yeah, you? She said, um... Um, how may I help you today? It's like, I'm not sure what's going on with Crystal, but it's not good. Do you think you can help? Of course I can. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at Crystal just to make sure that she is okay. Um, these pets always leave different spills. Our brother is calling us. He's like, hey, Chloe. Hey, um, London, Chloe came by to visit. Dad told me he was coming. So we're going to call him when we um, get done at the vet office because you know we're trying to get stuff done um let's go ahead and see what's wrong with crystal i felt like we had crystal in the last episode maybe i'm tripping but crystal looks very familiar but we're feeling good very confident we're excited about seeing the family tomorrow so i'm excited about that so we're gonna go ahead and begin examining crystal um right now she's a little tense but she's not too much i'm gonna go ahead and just do a quick take her temperature we're gonna start there nothing too major just take her temperature a little bit you know that's about it 
Let's just go ahead and take her temperature. She said, it's okay, Crystal. She said, I am doctor. Um, I you. I'm here to help. So, moth mouth. Let's go ahead and um, examine her mouth. Because she does have a lot of flies and stuff flying around her mouth. And things of that nature. And then we're going to go ahead and do a skin and fur inspection. Just to make sure that, you know, nothing is. Like, she doesn't have any ticks or things like that. And then she's not going to go from there. We on level 5 of our veterinarian skill. It's a London Grace has earned a bunch of perk points. She is now able to soothe pets at the exam table. And craft wellness treats at the medicine crafting table. Last but not least, she gets also unlock a cute themed pet wall decal. Oh, that is so cute. She's a little tense. Let's go ahead and calm her down. Let's go ahead and calm her down. But like, it is okay. Uh-oh, we got other patients in here. Very impatient. What's going on in here? Oh, she's playing. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and, um... We're working hard. So we're working late today. She's like, it's, so, she has mouth repugnitis. So, it's like, it's okay. So, we're going to go ahead and give her a treatment. And go ahead and give the parasite killer. And then she's going to be all good to go. So there you go, Crystal. You should feel a lot better. And hopefully next time you come. Yes, I'm so happy to hear that. So now we're going to go ahead and greet our next patient. Of course, it's going to say we can't. But let's go ahead and greet our next patient. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. We have, We don't have... Let's go ahead and greet this patient and tell him that we're sorry for the long wait. But, you know, we had stuff we had to do. I'm actually going to go ahead and, and actually have this be the last patient because we are actually um, getting ready to close. Something is wrong with my little girl, Molly. Won't you please help her? Yes, I can. Our rating just went up as well. We are currently now two full stars. We have nine reviews. And, um... We got a little bit more perk points, so we're feeling good. We are a two-star vet clinic. Our goal is to become a five-star, so we are getting there. So we're going to go ahead and examine our last pup because I believe I said, yes, we're not allowing any new customers because we're actually about to close, okay? So let me go ahead. Oh, we might just open, take a break and then open back up, but right now we just yeah. want to relax. So let's go ahead, and she's very tense. Let's go ahead and give her... Uh, let's go ahead and do this. We craft this at the at this little station right here, like this stress relief thing. So we're gonna give her that and see if that helps. That should take all her stress away. And it works, okay. It's temporary, but hopefully gets us through this process. We're gonna go ahead and take her temperature because we gotta clean up the shop. We got throw up everywhere. Let's go ahead and um, do a skin infection, uh, spin a skin inspection. We have barfing, high temperature, and we're trying to figure out what else is new. So this dog has swamp mouth. So we're going to go ahead and give him this treat, and then he what? should be good huh? to uh -oh. go. So you should be good to go. He's like, thank you so much. I appreciate it. She's like, no problem, sir. So we got a lot of mopping we have to do. Um... We have a lot of mopping we have to do. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We have made 500 simoleons today. We are currently now a two-star um, clinic. And um, let me see. View shift summary. Okay, try quality of service. So I guess um, an abiance, ambiance. Okay, yes. I know the clinic is not up to par as far as that. But the wait time has very short wait times, which is great for customers who are needing urgent care. Okay, good to know. So we're going to go ahead and close up shop. It's been a long day. We got a lot of cleaning to do. I feel like it's been pretty successful. We're going to go ahead and close. The shop is closed for the day. I'm going to go ahead and clean up. Get everything done. And then after that, we are hungry. I'm thinking about maybe taking our brother out to eat. He did text us early and say he wanted to see if we had any dinner plans. And it was his treat. So he said we picked a place. So I think we're going to go ahead and shower here and get ourselves together. And then we're going to just meet our brother there. It's this nice spot in Burnleton Bay. Not too far from here that we can go 
and um, he's actually in the area. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So you can actually go ahead and go about your business. Um, the shop is closed, sir. So you don't have to be here any longer. Thank you. Okay, he's leaving. Perfect. So we got a lot of cleaning to do. Uh, we got a lot are hungry. So once she finishes mopping and stuff, I'm gonna have her come up here and use the bathroom, take a nice shower, brush her teeth. And then we're gonna change our clothes to something a little bit more out to dinner like. You know, even though we're going to see our brother tomorrow, we're super excited to see him. And so we're going to go ahead and do that. Just like, hey, bro, I'm cleaning up. I should be there maybe in like an hour tops. Um, my shop got really uh, bad, but I also got hired. Actually, I want to go ahead and see if we can hire a new vet while we're here. Or hire somebody to help keep the space clean. So we can actually hire two vets. So we're going to go ahead and select a Sam. We need somebody with that experience, of course, and none of these people have that experience, but I could get somebody to like help clean, you know? So I'm gonna get her, I'm gonna hire her. I think I'm gonna just hire one person now, Neilani. And then um, we hired one person. We can also get some more perk points as well. Let's look at that. Uh, we can unlock that supply. Vet rush to increase number of patients come your clinic. Uh, additional vet. Uh, let's do this one. Let's do that one. So Neilani, it says we'll arrive for her first shift as soon as possible. Okay, perfect. Tomorrow I believe is Winterfest, so we're not going to open the shop tomorrow because, yep, tomorrow is Winterfest, which I'm super excited about. Let's speed this up just a little bit. Like, I didn't think that all this mopping would take this long, but it's definitely taking longer than I expected. These had to be able to, um, you know, navigate the space and, you know, not have such bad reviews about it being so, um, icky. But I also feel like if your dog spits up or throw up in my vet, you should be the one that cleans it up. Or maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just the only one that feel that way. But we're going to go ahead and travel, um, with our bro which I'm super excited about. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and travel with Levi and still getting ourselves together and things like that. I'm um, taking a quick shot, which is, I'm kinda glad that we put this bathroom up here because it actually works in our favor. We don't have to go home to shower. And I think that once, um, uh, once, Pierre gets older I might actually end up start bringing him to the vet clinic and maybe like putting like a little pet bed up here for him and who's this I know is this is this look at our mama over here let's go ahead and give our mama a hug our mama is over here guys I thought that was our mama like she's leaving now like she had to go handle some business in the Y'all, just look at Brunton Bay. It is absolutely gorgeous. We are currently here on the pier. And we are here with our mama as well as Levi. Um, our mama wanted to tag along. I'm like, you know what? Come on, mama. So we're going to go ahead and sit together. We're going to go ahead and order some drinks for the group. Y'all, we can officially drink together. That is a plus. So we're going to go ahead and order a drink for the group. We're going to go ahead and get us something not too heavy, not too light. Let's go ahead and get us some uh some soft shallow. I know I know you lying. How you gonna leave when we come? Like how? Your shift over? Okay. How you gonna leave when we come? Okay, like it's a new bartender, so don't even worry about it. Come sit together. Um, some days are harder than others. I did hire a new employee because I do kind of need some help, like as far as like keeping everything clean and things like that. But other than that, everything is going um, pretty good. Let's go ahead and grab our drinks so and let's come over and have a seat together and chat it up. I am a little hungry, so I'm thinking maybe we can probably order some drinks. I mean, some food. Order some food really quickly. Let's go ahead and order some. Let's go and get a meat and cheese platter. Something good, something different. Is our dad here? 
our dad looks like he might be here but we're feeling good this place is nice i felt like we wanted to come here and just chill catch a vibe you know enjoy our night off also tomorrow is christmas so i guess they want to make it a family affair but look at her sitting here looking at her parents she's like we i came here for a little little you know chill and then uh my dad's here but she's feeling good we're feeling good. We got our drink. Our dad is here. I guess the whole family is here. She said, what the heck? She said, Mama, what's going on? She said, can I get a, a platter, please? She said, yeah, coming right on up. So we're going to go ahead. And um, that looks good because we are hungry. So that platter is about to be crushed. Put it down, sir, so we can get our platter of food. Thank you very much. Okay, let's move it over here to the table. Let's put it up. Let's go ahead and sit together. Sit. Grab a serving. Where did everybody else go? Did Levi leave? I guess Levi had a date or something. He said, man, I gotta go with my girlfriend, okay? <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and um, eat. You know, eat it up. You know, we are hungry. After a long day, what's not wrong with coming to get a little meat and cheese platter? It actually looks really good, y'all. I love a little good charcuterie board. Mm, I be crushing, okay? So we're just going here checking our emails and stuff. I guess I... She said, so baby, how's everything going this long? She said, it's going good, mama. She said, you know, I have my good and bad days. So yeah, I definitely miss the sunny weather. She said, how's everything going? Like, how are you? Are you still at the firm? She said, no, actually, babe, I um, I don't work no more. I decided to, you know, give that to the next person behind me. And just, you know, I, I do my painting on the side more now. She said, oh, that's good, mama. She said, I'm happy for you. So, yeah, now that I'm done raising my kids and my kids are happy in their careers, I decided it's time to do something that makes me happy in a long time. You know, pain that makes me happy. She said, well, I'm happy to hear that, Mama. She said, I want you to be happy in everything that you do. Yes. I might as well actually go ahead and take a picture together. I don't think we have a picture with our Mama in this. Um, Let's see. Where's the camera? Let's go ahead and take a picture. Take a picture with our, uh, not Kaden. We try to take a picture with we can't take a picture with our mama. That we talking to our mama. We can't take a picture with our mama. Isn't that something? But how are we feeling? She said, well, I'm about to go ahead and close out this tab. Go ahead and eat me another quick, uh, about to eat another meat and cheese platter before I go, because I paid for this. So she y'all can have some if y'all want some. You guys, I might just eat me one more before I go. So the mama, you can take them or you can leave them. It does not matter. And we're fired up from socialization. A quick pep talk with the physically active sim can put a spring in anyone's step. Let's go ahead and give her a friendly introduction and say hi to her. You know, we, it's good to meet new people. We are fired. Okay. A glance at London Grace is neutral attraction too. Okay. Okay, with the neutral attraction. But they're just chatting it up. Her dad is here. He came to chat it up as well. We're going to just say what's up with our dad. Um, let's go ahead and uh, have deep thoughts, let's have a deep conversation, and then we're just chatting it up, you know, they're having a good old time, it's good to get out, but you know, we love, we, it's good to see our family, but it's also good to be able to go as you please, so we're about to actually go ahead and go home, so it's nice seeing y'all, but I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to dip. Um, we should take this with us, but it's going to expire in seven hours. So maybe we should leave. But she's like, it's good seeing you guys. Let's go ahead and disband the group first before we go. But we take the whole group with us. Because we do not want that. Okay, let's go ahead and... um. Okay, we're not in the group. We're going to go ahead and hit... But I'm going to have to dip, okay? So we're going to go ahead and hit home. And I'm going to see you guys once we get this. She's like, excuse you. <laughs> and as you guys can see, this is not Pierre. And I have a reason why we have this cat in our arm and that is because we were leaving the um pier with our mom and our brother and our dad of course we were walking home and we saw that this beautiful little cat was in a box under the stair uh, under a staircase and we could not leave him there in this horrible weather that's outside we just couldn't and we brought him in and we just we didn't plan to like 
We're not planning to, we didn't plan to keep him, just kind of like give him food and water and take him to the shelter in the morning. But this little guy is super attached to us and he has not wanted us to put him down since we got him. Like, how can you say no to that face? Look at him. <laughs> so I think we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to keep him. We're going to get him situated and stuff. He's feeling good. He's a little uncomfortable. So we're going to actually go ahead and call him to... Actually, should we just go ahead and get another pet bowl? Uh, let's go ahead and call him to eat this food. Maybe that'll help him feel better. Um, we need to get a litter box and everything else. But right now, he can eat Oreo's food. We're also going to go ahead and um, talk to Oreo. Let's go ahead and uh, fill the love with Oreo. Let's go ahead and um, like Oreo, I brought over a new pet. A little for a pet let's go ahead and lick her face because we missed our baby and he was hungry his name is oreo guys and he was so hungry i could not leave him he was just too cute to leave behind. i'm comfortable um let me go ahead and make sure the heat is on in here so is the heat on let's go ahead and turn the heat on so it can be a little warm in here she said hi buki we are so tired we need to get a litter box and everything else Let's go to ask him to go potty as well. And then we're gonna come up here. We got clothes in the dryer. We're gonna change into our PJs for the night. And let's come up here and look at our little guy. Let's come up here and give him a treat and ask about his day and play with him. Y'all know we got a job. Our responsibilities at work and at home is to make sure that our animals are okay. She's like, go potty, baby. Go potty. I'm just going to go put some laundry away, change my clothes, and he still feels very uncomfortable. What is the matter? Oh, Can we go ahead and make him happy? Yeah, we made him feel, because he should feel better. He's in the heat, you know, he has food. He's eating all of Oreos, all of Pierre's food. I'm just curious to how Pierre feels about it, because Pierre is like, uh-uh. That is my food. We're gonna get us some food. We're gonna go ahead and say what's up to our whiskers. And you know, he said, hi whiskers. Hi, did you have a good day? And we're gonna go ahead and um, let's go ahead and talk to him and tell him a little secret. Come down here and get some stuff for this cat um did pierre go potty okay he did so that is good pierre come back in the house now should i get back in here now get back in this house now successfully train out a misbehavior because we are not supposed to be playing in puddles absolutely not and now you're going to need a bath pierre look he's doing that because we got we got a new animal in the house he's showing out Say so we do not play in puddles. Do you understand? We do not play in puddles. Get all the things that we need. And then we're going to probably end this episode. And then I feel like the next episode is going to be really, really cute. I think I'm just going to get another bowl just like it. Um, You know, I think that would be cute. Right, let's go ahead and put it here. And then we're going to go ahead and... um. Get a litter box really quickly because we have a toy, but we just need a litter box. Uh, let's see, which one should we get? Uh, I like this litter box, this is kind of cute. It's just so big for no reason. Where will we put it? Um, uh, we could put it in the bathroom, or should we get like one of these? Um, I'll probably get this one. It's a little smaller, a little more um, easier to probably clean. So we'll put that there. So we got a litter box. We got another food bowl. We need another bed. <laughs> we need another pet bed. Okay, let's see. Let's get another pet bed. Uh, we really don't need that big bed for... Let's get this one. I don't know. I really like this. is probably one of my favorite. I just love it. But we're going to go ahead and um, put it here. Uh, let's see. 
put it there um this bed is so small it's insane let me go ahead and move objects really quickly it doesn't really need it that big because here it's not that big you know Let's just size it down a little bit and then you got this one Alrighty, so we got two bits for them. We got the litter box. So I think we're all good to go. I think we're on a budget. So we're gonna go ahead and give Pierre a bath. Um, Oreo is okay, he's inside. Um, also wanna go ahead and fill both these bowls, fill all pet bowls as well. Um, it's already Christmas morning and we're extremely exhausted. But luckily we're not having Christmas dinner till later, which is perfectly fine we're gonna go ahead and give Pierre a bath and we're gonna probably go ahead in this episode she's like Pierre next time when mama tell you don't play in the dirty um, water don't play in it you understand okay look at her giving him a bath I love it I absolutely love it saying, yeah you're getting a bath your first doggy bath <laughs> too cute so we're gonna go ahead, we'll fill those pet bowls in the morning. They should be fine. We're gonna go ahead and go to sleep because we are exhausted and luckily Pierre is already upstairs. So he doesn't have to be brought up or you can get up here just fine. We're gonna go ahead, auto lights, all light, all lights. And we're gonna probably go ahead and go to sleep because we need to get some rest. We gotta get up in a couple hours and make our dish for um, Christmas. So we gotta do that. Atlas is calling us. Um, yes, go for it, Atlas. You should definitely go for it. So, Pierre is doing a little bit of whining, but we're going to go ahead and go to sleep because we're tired. We are extremely tired. So, we're going to go ahead and go to sleep. The dogs and the cats and everybody should be coming up here to go to sleep. I cannot believe we have three pets in this in this uh, game already. Which is insane. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Um, I really hope you guys enjoy. In the next episode we will be celebrating Christmas. So I'm excited about that. Give us a little bit of time to relax from the work for a little bit. But I really hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.